Bright lights, decorated lifeguard chairs, and festive music. That's what you can expect once again this year at the Jacksonville Beach Deck the Chairs event. It all starts Saturday night and runs through January 1st. Joining me now is Curtis Loftus, the founder and development director. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Hey, good morning. For those people who are not familiar, start by telling us how Deck the Chairs works. Well, Deck the Chairs is a nonprofit organization. We were founded in 2014. It was essentially founded to bring a little bit of a uh, holiday spirit, some lights into the Jacksonville Beach marketplace. Uh, we had previous year um, had no lights and no decorations. And as a business owner in the beaches area I, and a bunch of other folks out here, we were like, hey, we've got to have some holiday celebration here. So we, we, we formed up the nonprofit and um, we've been growing it, uh, building these beautiful decorated lifeguard chairs since 2013. And just looking at some of these images here, I mean, they're amazing. What goes in to making this all happen? That's a lot of work. We um, actually work all year round. We have a, a wonderful board of directors. Um, we meet, we, we put the plan together. It's essentially, uh, we've obviously got a holiday music tree that uh, is put in the middle of the park. We've got 40 decorated lifeguard chairs, the businesses, local community, a lot of nonprofits chip in and they, um, they're sponsoring a chair. And then what they do is essentially put a message on that chair. It's their outreach opportunity. So decorate the chairs, figure out what everyone's doing. And then we have six weeks in this park space that we have to manage and maintain. And who does it benefit? So we have a couple beneficiaries. Obviously the city of Jack's Beach is our main beneficiary. They um, again had nothing going on uh, during the winter months. And I've lived here 30 years. So I've seen some of those quieter, you know, winter, winter seasons. And so um, they're the beneficiary in a big, big way. The residents of Jack's Beach, the residents of North Florida, people that get to come into this event, it's free. It's obviously family friendly. Um, we uh, run it uh, from five in the afternoon to one in the morning with lights. Uh, there's uh, lots of programming, as I said already, on the weekends. So that beneficiary is the city. The beneficiary also, it's the art community and it's the children's arts programs. We put a lot of free programming up on the stage on the weekends, so dance troops, local community theater, uh, just it's, it's all about the arts, it's all about community. And then at the end of the day, we've actually for the last seven years supported the Volunteer Life Saving Corps of Jack's Beach, which is 110 years old. And that's a great organization. So we've been really involved in the community and doing a lot of outreach ourselves. That's really great to hear. And of course, we can't ignore the fact that we're still in the middle of this pandemic. How is it going to look a little bit different this year? Are there any changes? Oh, man. So June of this year, we were already deep into commitments with the city and our agreement with the city of Jack's Beach to run this for another three years. And at the same time, we were looking at a pandemic that was shutting everything down. So as a board, we were really kind of nervous and trying to figure out how this would look. And all I said to the board is, let's go back and if nothing else, put lighted chairs in the park. And if someone wants to step into that space and see it, great, let them come into the space. If they're a little nervous at that time of the year and we haven't solved this pandemic issue, well, then they can drive by. But we just wanted to make sure at minimum we had decorated um, lifeguard chairs in the park and we had all the lights in the trees and just we wanted space. We knew at the time that this, at, in November, December, this would be potentially a, a kind of just a joyful opportunity and here we are and we are so excited that we're going to be able to put together something like this for our city. Are there any safety measures that you're asking people to follow? Well, thank you. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's essentially set up a CDC, the state of Florida. We listen to them, our local community leaders. We talk to Parks and Rec, the city manager's office. What are we going to be doing? So it's essentially a, a mask recommendation. You're in outdoor space. You've got um, plenty of opportunity to social distance. We're gonna have hand san sanitizing stations. We reformatted the uh, exhibit so that there's more space to walk around and to just take part. You're not gonna be on sidewalks only. You can step into the grass and move around the chairs. So we're doing everything possible to make this safe, accessible, and just bring joy. And I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to it. Curtis Loftus, thank you so much for being with us this morning. We appreciate you guys. Come on out and see us. November 21st, we open the park.